The Cardano Foundation has just launched a brand new member-based nonprofit organization dealing with open source software for projects building in and out of Cardano. As a part of today's video, I want to dive into what Pragma is, which projects are a part of Pragma, and what the overall goal for an organization like this is. What's up, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. As a part of today's video, as I just mentioned there, we have the Cardano Foundation partnering up with some of the strongest software developers in the ecosystem to launch what is now known as Pragma. This is an open sourced organization or a member based open source organization dealing with the adoption of blockchain technology. Now, their goal is initially beginning within the Cardano ecosystem, but they have a much wider vision to make it simpler and easier for open source projects to collaborate and to feed one another in order to gain massive adoption. As a part of today's video, we're going to dive into the original article that was just released by the Cardano Foundation. I also want to talk about two of the projects they're onboarding initially to kick off the member based organization. Now, last but not least, I want to compare this to the Intersect MBO or the Intersect member based organization, which will be in charge of the future for Cardano once SIP number 1694 comes about. Now, there's already been comparisons between both of them, and there's been questions about whether or not there are conflicts of interest, which I personally don't think so. And I want to go ahead and break that case to you here watching this content. As always, if you do enjoy updates like these, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by Dapp Central and you want more content, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, then make sure to leave them down below. Moving straight into the article that was just released earlier from the Cardano Foundation, it states here, announcing Pragma. We're proud to be a part of this member-based open source association alongside Blink Labs, DC Spark, Sunday Swap, and TX Pipes. I don't think any of those additional teams need an introduction. They've all contributed very greatly here in the ecosystem. So we've got DC Spark run by Sebastian Guillemot. He's also been a huge contributor here when it comes to gaming with the Pima Gaming Studio. There's also the mention of Sunday Swap. I've had Pi on the channel here multiple times to talk about SIPs, Plutus development, and just the Sunday Swap decks. In addition, we've got TX Pipe, which has been making a huge effort here to make it easier to build on Cardano by providing infrastructure services as well as code auditing services. So some of the biggest contributors in this space now a part of Pragma. Now, if you want to actually find out a little bit more, the team did release a full dedicated article surrounding Pragma, and this is available on the official Cardano Foundation website. As always, links will be left down below. So it states here, today, the Cardano Foundation, alongside Blink Labs, DC Spark, Sunday Swap, and TX Pipe, announced the launch of Pragma, a member-based not-for-profit open source association for blockchain software projects. Now, the association will actually sign its statutes today on April 22nd. Pragma's initial primary goal is to foster an open source ecosystem for Cardano by hosting ex existing projects and helping them to thrive. Now, taking a look at the actual longer term roadmap on the official Pragma website, they do talk about fostering an environment for projects outside of Cardano as well. Now, currently in the first phase of the organizational development, Pragma will focus on a select number of projects at this initial stage, one of them being Amaru, which is building a Cardano full node in Rust, which can run alongside the existing Haskell node. Now, the second project is Icon, a smart contract development platform specifically created to simplify and enhance the development experience for smart contract developers here on Cardano. Now, I haven't heard of Amaru before. I'll be digging a little bit further into that. But I know that there's been a lot of projects leveraging Icon in times past, and it's really been a bummer to see them not always getting the much deserved recognition that they should in different events, one of them being Project Catalyst. Now, that aside, we've seen MintSwap adopting Icon smart contracts. We've seen the Matera protocol adopting Icon smart contracts and just many other protocols adopting Icon as well. Taking a closer look at the official Pragma website here, it's available at pragma.builders. In terms of the projects, I've already touched on those. Those are Icon and Amaru. In terms of the members, I've highlighted those as well. Again, Blink Labs, Cardano Foundation, DC Spark, Sunday Swap Labs, and TX Pipe. But I want to quickly touch on how this compares or differs from Intersect. Now, Intersect is a member-based organization, again, 
founded by the Cardano Foundation. And the goal of Intersect is to foster an environment where anybody who wants to contribute to governance on Cardano can go ahead and do so. So with respect to Intersect, one of the biggest differentiators between that and Pragma is that Intersect focuses on Cardano specifically, but also on the entire ecosystem. So not just making sure that open source software, open source projects have the visibility and the support that they need, but Intersect is also dealing with hard fork initiations, protocol parameters, network groups, and also dealing with the treasury and how that can be spent and withdrawn from. Again, with Pragma, they're only dealing with the open source software or open source projects. And if I jump into the FAQ here, I wanna to quickly touch on a couple of them. So in terms of who, who can contribute to Pragma, this is open for anybody as long as you are a member. Right now, they are not accepting memberships, right? They've already got a, a core group of contributors, but they will open that up as Pragma matures. So that's broken down here in the portion asking about how you can become a Pragma member. Now also states here, is Pragma competing with Intersect? So it reads, no, Pragma is a complementary effort. The mission of Intersect is brought, which I just mentioned there, and the challenges that they face are significant. Again, you're talking about stable coins, marketing, a lot of different facets when it comes to Intersect, where Pragma is focusing on just one single niche or one single area. Now it states here, that with Pragma, they hope to start small and figure out how to most efficiently work alongside, right, limited number of projects with Intersect uh, or the Intersect MBO. In the long run, they hope that Pragma and Intersect can work hand in hand to deliver what's best for Cardano. In terms of some of the goals for Pragma in 2024, right now, they've just got the founding members and they're just looking to build trust and figure out what works best for them. In terms of the longer term mission, it states here that by 2025, they'll have experience as to understanding what works best. And then from 2025 onwards, the ambition is to open up Pragma to other blockchain ecosystems to leverage synergies and to take advantage of the overlap between them. Again, this is one of the biggest differences between this and Intersect. Intersect is only focused on Cardano. They're not focused on wider interoperability. Now, of course, granted, some of the different topics that are dealt within Intersect can deal with interoperability, but the main goal of Intersect is to focus on Cardano governance. Whereas with Pragma, that does not appear to be the case. Now, the very last thing I wanna highlight is the fact that Pragma will not be in the business of funding the projects that they onboard, where it reads, Pragma is not geared to be a funding vehicle. Its main purpose is to be an umbrella organization for open source development efforts. Pragma will not receive, administer, or deploy funds from members or third parties for projects, nor will Pragma provide direct funding to maintainers or contributors. Lastly, this means that Pragma projects will need to look for other sources of funding, which they believe will be paramount to their long-term success. Now, could that long-term funding come from the Intersect MBO? Yes, that, that it actually could. So hopefully you're beginning to see the differences and the potential overlap between both of these two member-based organizations. But that will do it here for just the initial breaking news of Pragma, what their goal is, and who is a part of the brand new member-based organization. So let me know what you guys think down below. Is this a good initiative? Are you backing Pragma? I definitely think so. Um, I'm excited to see what additional projects get much needed support when it comes to open sourcing and how their long-term mission grows over time with them wanting to be multi-chain. If you learned anything along the way as a part of today's video, as it relates to Pragma or Cardano in general, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by Dab Central and you want more content like this, breaking down everything going on in the ecosystem, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me surrounding Pragma or Intersect, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.